Hello everyone, today's video is about rocking. This video is to help you improve your rock or to learn how to rock if you've never rocked before. If you're not sure what a rock is, here's a clip. Before we get started, I'd like to give you a little tip. It's important that your shoes fit snugly or even a little bit tight if they're soft shoes. The tighter your shoe is, the easier it will be to get up onto point or up onto your toes since the shoe will be supporting your toes more as it presses them tight together. For some of us with injuries, like myself, your tight shoes may hurt your feet. Um, so if my shoes magically change to ugly ones throughout this video, then you know why. If you're wearing your hard shoes for rocking, you're going to want to make sure that your toes touch the end of your shoe. If not, your foot may shift forward into the shoe as you come up onto point each time, making it difficult for you to perform your rocks correctly. Let's get started. To begin, place your feet together and be sure that your feet are very crossed. You need to be crossed enough that your toes are actually touching each other, facing each other. When we're going to rock, you're going to want to rock over the top of your toe, as opposed to the side of your foot. This is the top of the toe rocking, and this is the side of the foot. See how much more extension I get through the ankle when I turn my feet out far enough that I'm rocking over the top of my toe as opposed to the side of my foot. To execute a rock, begin with your feet together in a perfectly turned out position and tip your front toes over onto the top of your foot. If I were to lift my front foot up, I'm still standing on my back foot. Be sure to keep your knees totally straight as you rock over to your right side especially the front leg. The foot that is rolling onto the top of the foot is the one that most frequently bends. You need to work on your flexibility through your ankles in order to achieve a deep rock. Another way to keep the knees straight while rocking is by using your hips. When you rock to the right, try lifting your right hip slightly and dropping your left. Just be sure your shoulders and head don't move at the same time. To rock over to your left, bring your right foot back to stand on the bottom of your foot and then roll the back foot, our left in this case, over onto the top of its toes. Again, be sure your foot is so turned out that you're rolling over the tips of your toes and not the side of your foot. I think of rolling over my big toe and pointer toe and not my pinky toe and ring toe. That's a lot of toes. Now that I have rocked over my left foot, all of my weight is on my right foot. I am fully supported as I rock since one foot is always holding my weight while the other foot is flipped over. This is what creates the illusion of magical super bendy ankles that everyone loves so much. The higher you are on your toes, the better your rocks will be. I will demonstrate how a rock looks when you perform it with low feet. And this is a rock performed with my heels as high as I can get them from the floor. It looks like I'm going a lot farther over when my feet come up higher in the center. If you have strong feet and you are over the age of 12, you can come up onto point between each side of your rock. The most difficult thing about rocks is learning to balance properly on them. As you shift your weight from one foot to the other, this is the hardest part to make it look smooth. Once you have practiced rolling over to the right, stepping back, and rolling to the left, and stepping back, then you can start to practice the transition between the two. This is where you're going to have to put in some practice hours at home. I would certainly recommend learning rocks holding on to a city surface, a counter at home, or in a hallway where you can brace your hands on each side. When it comes to rocks, it's like any other trick. Practice makes perfect, and if you continue to practice these, you should be rocking beautifully in no time. Good luck everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Hello again. I thought it might be fun if at the end of this video I just show you some rocks in an actual dance. So, this isn't a real step or anything, as you'll probably notice. I'm just doing a bunch of rocks in a row.